What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode where we're going to be doing an unboxing of something that's hopefully going to make this channel a little bit better. Alright guys, so doing YouTube, there's a few things that you need to make your channel a little bit better so that everybody kind of keeps coming back and they don't get annoyed with the channel. And one of them is sound. And my sound quality has always been a little bit off. Um, when, when I can record on the computer, I have a decent microphone attached to the computer. But when I record on my GoPro, I've been using just the built-in GoPro. And that's what you're hearing right now. Um, I did also buy this, which is the media mod for it. And the sound quality is a little bit better, but it's still not where I wanted it. So I've been looking around for something cheap because, you know, uh, GoPro isn't cheap. So the media mod isn't cheap either. So I got this. So I picked this up. This is a, a Maono or Mauno. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Um, AU101. It's a clip on lapel mic. So it's a very basic mic that's 20 bucks. And supposedly this is supposed to help me out a lot to really give you guys some crisp, crisp sound. Um, the sound quality is supposed to be much better with this. So as I open it, it has a really nice box. I, I'm really happy with it so far, but just because it has a nice box doesn't mean it functions well. Let's see what we can get out of this. All right, so when I open it, you can see that it does need a battery. This is actually a spare battery. It has a battery in here already, I believe. We can actually open that up and take a look. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it has a 6.5 millimeter adapter. And then here's the mic, and it has a windscreen to put over it to give you better sound quality. And then of course it has the clip to put on your lapel or on your shirt, however you want to do it. So let me, let me pull this out. Oh, and I can't forget it actually comes with a nice little bag and some instructions also. Put that there. Uh, I don't want to lose this battery. I'm just gonna put it over on the side for a minute. Pull this down. This out. I'm also going to take this off because I'm not going to use that. And looks pretty nice so far. So I'm going to open this up real quick. And while we're talking, this cord is actually 236 inches, which is just under 20 feet. It's 19.6667 feet. <laughs> that was pretty long. Um, okay, so there is a battery that's already in here. They do give you the spare also. Um, as you can see, there's a button on here or a switch also. I've seen people kind of ask questions about this and say the on off doesn't work. You know, is the mic on and off? It's not an on off to turn the mic actually on and off. It's a different setting whether you're using a DSLR camera or a smartphone. So you need to put it on off in order to use the smartphone. And on is for the DSLR camera. Others, it says it's for the computer also. This is marketed towards using DSLRs, mobile phones, and PCs specifically for podcasters and YouTube people. So um, here's the little windscreen. I'll pop this on. And basically what we're gonna do this episode is we're gonna actually test this out. So it's not gonna be that exciting to watch, but it is hopefully gonna be exciting to listen to. Um, and then here's the clip. So this clip, it looks like it pops on here. So the good thing with this is that even though this isn't where it's gonna go, it pops on there. So there, there's a lot of specs that go along with this. I'm not really a sound guy, so I can't tell you exactly what they mean, but I'm gonna pop up some, uh, the, some of the specs over here. It is an omnidirectional mic, which means that it records from all sides. Um, one of the questions that was on there says, does it record in mono or stereo? It only records in mono. Now their comment is for voice, you only need mono. But if there's for some reason that you do need stereo, it says that you need to run two mics and they actually have a setup where you get two of these. Um, so I'm gonna, I do a lot of my recording in the garage, so that's where I am right now. You guys can see I'm at my usual workbench. So we're gonna record in here. I'm gonna get it set up. Basically what we're gonna do is that you guys can hear here, but I'm gonna do the same settings where you guys can listen to the built-in mic, which you hear now. We're gonna attach the media mod and we're gonna see how the media mod sounds. And then we're gonna plug this into the media mod we're going to see how different that sound is. So while I'm recording, I'm not going to be able to hear what the output is. So we'll do a little, um, a little summary at the end of this also. All right, guys, let me get this set up. 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna be recording this from the same spot, which is behind the camera, because that's how I normally film. Right now, you can just see my little Funko Pop characters from Mr. Robot, and I'm basically gonna say the same few sentences. Right now, I have nothing on it. This is the built-in microphone of the GoPro 8. I am in my garage. There is a refrigerator that's close to me. I noticed that the Media Mod picks that up more than the built-in mic, so we're gonna see kind of what we hear in the background and how crisp the sound really is of what we wanna hear. So I'm gonna say the same sentence a few times without the Media Mod, with the Media Mod, and then with the new Mayono AU-101. This is a sound test with no Media Mod and no external mic. All right guys, so I have the Media Mod on now. It's set to stereo. So I'm gonna just say basically this is a test again to compare. This is a test with the media mod in stereo mode. So hopefully we'll be able to hear the difference there. And I'm gonna switch this to the rear microphone since I'm always working from behind the camera. All right guys, now here we are using the media mod with the rear mic. So this is a test with the media mod rear mic. All right, guys, I'm gonna plug in the, the new Mayono AU-101 microphone now. All right, guys, so now I have the Mayono AU-101 plugged in. This is a test of the new Mayono AU-101 connected to the media mod on my GoPro Hero 8. This is a sound test with no media mod and no external mic. This is a test with the media mod in stereo mode. This is a test with the media mod rear mic. This is a test of the new Mayono AU-101. All right guys, from here, I'm gonna go listen to the sound quality, kind of make a judgment as to how I feel about the different things that I'm hearing, and then I'll finish up with a summary right about now. All right guys, what's up? I'm back in the office and I am still kind of testing this mic. So first things first, I ran into some issues with this microphone that when I was recording, it was getting staticky and I was about to kind of call it quits, but then I plugged it into my iPhone. You need the lightning cable, plugged it into my iPhone and it seemed to work pretty good. So I was like, what's going on? And I remembered I had seen a video. So if you guys are using a GoPro with this mic, you need to swipe down on the back interface click preferences, look for the input output section and click audio input. And you need to change that setting to powered mic. I totally forgot this does have a battery in it. Uh, I guess that's what you consider a powered mic. So you need to change that setting to powered mic. And now I'm talking and you're not hearing a whole bunch of static in the background, which I was getting. The funny thing is that it worked the first time I plugged it in without changing the setting. Um, but for now, I need to have it changed in order to get the clear audio. And it's actually picking up more background now than it wasn't previously, um, but it's still pretty good. So another note, this device right here is actually made of a metal. I wanted to mention that this isn't plastic. It's actually a pretty nice quality. Um, and it also has a clip on it. This clip is to put onto your belt or onto your pants so that you can then wire um, the microphone up through your shirt to keep it hidden. Um, one other note is that this cable is actually really long, so make sure you keep it tied up. I ran into some issues where it was actually getting tangled up, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, but, you know, it's good to have, but make sure you don't start getting all tangled up because it is, you know, almost 20 feet, like I mentioned before. So listening to the different audio quality, I have these speakers right here, which are just some Logitech speakers, which weren't that expensive. Um, that's kind of like my standard, what most people probably have, whether it's laptop speakers or something, what they're going to hear. But I also have this Bose headset that I use to do the editing and to listen to these video clips um, to hear the sound quality. This gives me a much more in-depth sound quality, which is really nice to really hear what's going on. This is how I edit also. So in listening, I can hear the difference obviously you guys can probably hear it with any speakers that you have also that the built-in mic you know it doesn't have all that great a sound quality but much better than previous gopros if you've ever had those um, moving to the media mod in stereo it was picking up this weird kind of like whistling sound and i think it was picking up the refrigerator and the noise that that was making but it made it kind of almost unbearable once i had these on to really hear that sound um, in my ear 
So the rear mic was probably the best setting from the GoPro without this mic plugged in. And it had pretty good sound quality, but it picked up a lot of the background noise. Once I plugged this in, I think it did a great job at noise canceling everything except for my voice. It picked up my voice really well, and I think it did a pretty good job. Um, originally, I was going to say that this is great because it's a plug and play. You just plug it in and you're good to go. But <laughs> my disclaimer before, you do actually need to go into the settings on the GoPro and you need to change it to be a powered mic. Otherwise, you might run into the same issues that I ran into. But as of now, it's still pretty clear. Uh, it's picking up a lot of stuff now. Um, it might not be as noise canceling as I thought it was originally, but I was also in the garage before. Now I'm in my office in my house. So it's a little bit of a different environment. But I still am pretty happy with this. I'm going to keep it. This is going to be part of my regular setup for now. But if you guys can, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think about the sound quality. I mean, you guys are hearing it now too, right? So you heard the sample clips. You're hearing me talk now. So give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to get better audio to provide better video for you guys. Uh, on top of that, the next thing I need to look at is better lighting. Um, so if you guys have any kind of suggestions for good lighting that I can use, stuff to put in my garage or in my office, whether I'm doing an unboxing or looking at a product, looking at my bike, looking at my ATV, I uh, would love to know what you guys are using or what you think works well or something that you used previously. So again, pretty good mic. Going to keep using it. I'll give additional feedback if I run into issues or if I find any other settings that work better as I go through this. Like I said, I tested it on my iPhone. Sounded pretty good also. I haven't plugged it into the computer yet, but I can do that. So I'm going to test that moving forward. But for now, pretty happy. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.